Hey guys, it's Gemma Forge. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here today. So today I am doing a video that I have never done before and I have watched a lot of other uh, YouTubers do this particular video and I'm like, you know what? It's probably time for me to do my own. Today I am bringing you my Walt Disney World bucket list and you're gonna wanna stick around. I have been going to Walt Disney World for literally decades. I absolutely love it there. I feel like we've eaten at most of the restaurants, we've stayed in most but not all of the resorts, and we have had year after year of fabulous memories. We're Disney Vacation Club members, I go multiple times a year, and yet, there are still things that I have yet to do at Walt Disney World. And you know, people always ask me, how long do I need to go to Disney to experience it all? And I'm like, well, I've been going for decades and I still haven't experienced it all. And this list is proof of that because when I sat down and thought, now what is on my Disney bucket list? 10 things just came so quickly you wouldn't even believe it. So some of these I'm actually scheduled to take care of this year. So let's get started because this has the potential to be kind of a long video. So I wanna make sure I get through all 10. So the number one thing on my bucket list, and these are in no particular order, is to rent a pontoon boat on Bay Lake. I have seen this in other people's, uh, on other people's YouTube channels. I have seen families doing it. It's actually not that expensive and it looks so fun to just take a boat out there for an hour or so. You get to go in really cool places. You can take that little um, causeway that connects Bay Lake to the Seven Seas Lagoon. You can go out by the Grand Floridian and the Polynesian. And it just seems like such a relaxing way to not only spend an hour or so, but also to see uh, Walt Disney World and that whole uh, monorail resort area from a different vantage point than what you normally do. I'm a little obsessed with the boats at Walt Disney world anyway and so this is right up my alley i am really hoping that we have time to do this for our big january trip with our entire family every time we go i say i really want to do the pontoon boats but we just never seem to be able to fit it into our schedule so i'm going to try to make that a priority so that i can check that one off my bucket list this year actually it'll be 2020 so kind of next year but soon very soon <laughs> The next thing on my Disney bucket list, number two, is to stay at the Grand Floridian. Now I have visited the Grand Floridian many, many times, but I've never actually stayed there. And you know, it's not that we haven't been able to, it's just that the boys usually like to stay somewhere else and we're Disney Vacation Club members and we own it Old Key West. Sorry, dogs, if you watch my videos, you get used to that. They're loud, they're protecting me. Um, but I could just see myself, you know, having a glass of wine, maybe concierge level if it's for a really special occasion. And there's just something about that resort. I've also never had tea there. So I would definitely incorporate having tea there into that bucket list uh, experience. So staying at the Grand Floridian, definitely wanna do that someday. Number three on my bucket list is actually scheduled this year and I cannot wait. And that is to do a VIP tour. Now I see them walking around the parks and I'm always like, oh, I wonder who that is. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. And I've always thought, how cool would it be to actually experience that for myself? Um, I actually have this scheduled. I don't want to jinx it, so I don't want to give too many details, but it will be my very first time doing a VIP tour and I cannot wait. So I'll be sure to bring you guys all of those details. So that's another one that I'm going to be able to just check off my list and I can't wait. Number four on my Disney bucket list might seem a little odd, especially to my friends in the UK who do this on a regular basis, but I would love to do a Disney trip that is two weeks long. Um, I worked full time until just recently and with kids in school and all of that, this has just never even been something that was an option for us. Our Disney trips at most are a week and usually even that is a little tight because you know, if I had a week off work, you want you know a day or two before and you want a day or two after to do laundry and acclimate and all of that. Those of you watching from other countries may or may not know that in the US we do not have vacation time like you all do in Europe. We are lucky if we get two weeks a year. So, you know, obviously you can't, you don't want to spend your entire two weeks vacation in one trip and then not have any other trips planned the rest of the year. So 
that is something I would love to do. I just feel like the uh, the margin you would have, right? To not only explore the parks at your leisure, but also to maybe do some other things. Maybe take a golf lesson, have more time to maybe go to the spa. All of those types of things that you just never seem to be able to fit into a Walt Disney World trip. I feel like if I had two weeks, I could make that happen. But I have a guess that I still would feel like it wasn't quite long enough, even if it was two weeks. But that's on my bucket list to do a two week Disney trip. Number five on my bucket list is to stay at the Atrium Club at the Contemporary. Now this is the Contemporary's concierge level. Um, I have heard that it is absolutely phenomenal and I love the Contemporary so much that staying club level there just seems like the ultimate Walt Disney World trip. Now this particular bucket list item I would have to make sure I did with Scott because the Contemporary is Scott's favorite resort hands down, and he has actually never stayed in the tower. We've stayed at the Contemporary several times, but we've always been in the garden wing rooms. So I would love to take Scott to the Atrium Club at the, and stay in a Magic Kingdom view room. I just think that would just be amazing. So that is number five on my bucket list. Number six on my bucket list is to do a pool hop challenge for all of the pools that are available to Disney Vacation Club members. You may not know, but DVC members have the ability to hop to a whole bunch of different resort pools. There are a few that are um, not on the list. You can't do Storm Along Bay. I think the big pool at Animal Kingdom Lodge, but a lot of the other ones you can pool hop to and I think it would be super fun to just put my suit on and my cover up and have my bag and hopefully with a girlfriend, right? To pool hop to all the different pools, to try a couple of drinks by the pool, to try and see, maybe even do a cabana in one of the resorts and just experience all the different hotel pools. Number one, I think it would be a lot of fun. And number two, I think that would make for a great uh, vlog. So I think I need to do that for you guys, right? I'm such a giver. <laughs> Okay, where am I? Number seven on my bucket list, kind of going from luxury to Fort Wilderness. Number seven is to do a horse-drawn carriage ride at Fort Wilderness at Christmas time. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen pictures of how the people decorate their campsites at Christmas, but it is ridiculous. And the thought of just having maybe a chilly night and a horse-drawn carriage, maybe some hot cocoa, that just seems, I would love to do this with Scott. Very romantic and very beautiful and is something I have just always wanted to do. I absolutely adore Fort Wilderness. Anytime I can get over there, I'm happy, but I think that horse-drawn carriage ride at Christmas would just be perfect. And then maybe stop at Trails End and get some bread pudding because, oh my goodness, you just, I can't even, I can't even with that bread pudding. So good. Number eight on my bucket list, this will make a lot of you laugh, um, wasn't even possible until uh, whenever they did this change, maybe a year ago, I would love to bring Walter with me to Disney. Now my big dog Max, would it would not be a fun trip for him and I don't think it would be a fun trip for me, but Walter I think would love Walt Disney World. It would be so awesome. I've never traveled with him before and now that you can take your pets with you to Walt Disney World at certain resorts and there is a pet fee per day. Um, I know that the cabins at Fort Wilderness are one of those places. It would be so fun to bring Walter along with us, either with me by myself or even better with the whole family for a family vacation. So bringing Walter to Disney World is another one on the list of things I would love to do. Number nine is going to surprise some of you because I've actually done videos where I talk about how I don't do the dining plan, but I would love someday to do the deluxe dining plan at Disney. Um, it, not because it's a good value. I don't think it is a good value, but just the fact that you could schedule sit down restaurants three times a day, and I wouldn't want to do it for a long time because I think I'd get sick of eating out, but even just, you know, maybe it would be good to combine that um, Grand Floridian trip or the contemporary trip with this deluxe dining plan and just do a little short trip, right? Maybe three nights of just ultra, ultra, ultra luxury Walt Disney World where you could eat at all of the restaurants that you want. I have no doubt that when we got home, I would have gained 10 pounds and I'd be like, oh, I'm never doing that again. But just once I would love to do the deluxe Disney dining plan. And then number 10 on my bucket list, and this one might seem a little bit odd to some of you, but those of you that are really, really into the Magic Kingdom like I am, don't you always feel like you're rushed? I would love to do a trip, and maybe I could do this as part of my two-week Walt Disney World trip, where I spent one day, one day in each of the different lands in the Magic Kingdom. So in my brain, here's how this, this would work. I would go into the Magic Kingdom for rope drop, and I would just pick one land 
and just do absolutely everything there is to do in that one land in a day and not be rushed and do all the shops and just chill. Probably, you know, like Adventureland isn't gonna take me a whole day, but just knowing that I have four days in the Magic Kingdom for this trip in my mind, right? One day is devoted to Tomorrowland, one day is devoted to Fantasyland, one day is devoted to Adventureland, and one day is devoted to Frontierland. And Liberty Square we would throw in probably with Frontierland. Um, just to really like be saturated in it, right? And I have always felt when I'm in the Magic Kingdom, I rushed. You're rushing around to get from one fast pass to the next. You wouldn't mind in this scenario. You know, each land has at least one or two fast pass attractions. So you would just do all your fat, your three fast passes in that one land and just enjoy a whole day. And there would be absolutely no rush to do anything. I feel like this would be a good opportunity to pick up a lot of those really minute details that the Disney Imagineers have worked into each of the lands at the Magic Kingdom, but that so frequently we're in such a rush that we don't even really notice those things. You know, you could ride whatever your favorite ride is multiple times and have that just like total immersion. And if this is gonna really take it next level, but I would probably do a little Disney bounding. You know, I would probably maybe dress up a little bit to match the land where I was spending my day. and. I I just think that would be such a fun trip. I think it would be fun to vlog. I think it would be super fun to experience. And um, it's just something I've always like, ever since I was little, I was like, oh, it's time for us to move on. We, we can't be here anymore. We have to move on. I would love to just stay in one place and soak it all in. So tell me below anything that is on my list that is also on your Disney bucket list. And also tell me which one of the things on that list do you think I should do right away and make sure that I vlog it so I can show it to all of you guys. I'm so glad you were here. This was super fun today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great day. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the like button and make sure you hit that bell notification so that you don't miss any of my updates. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.